The build-up to tomorrow's governorship and uh, state houses of assembly elections in Lagos State has been defined by a growing threat of violence uh, in the wake of increasing against some of those that will be contesting. Uh, Labour Party's candidate for the House of Assembly election, Ulumide Uwuru, and his team were on Thursday attacked by thugs while campaigning in the Surulere Siru quarters. Just like he did before the presidential election, Musiliu Akishona, also known as MC Oluomo, who serves as chairman of Lagos State Parks Management Committee, took to social media for the threat in uh, Igbos and other non-natives of Lagos to stay indoors if they will not vote for the ruling party, the All Progressives Congress. Now, in all of this, what has the Lagos State Police Command said? And why are those flagrantly uh, trampling on the law not being arrested? The State Commissioner of Police, Idou Onwa, joins us now. It's good to have you, Mr. Onwa. Now, um, let's take a look at this uh, scenario. Uh, what assurances are you giving residents uh, of uh, Lagos of a hitch free poll devoid of ballot snatching and uh, other related incidences and other crimes for tomorrow's uh, elections, uh, governing, uh, the gubernatorial elections, as it were. Thank you very much, um, Arise, and uh, I do appreciate this uh, opportunity to once again uh, reach out to uh, negotiations. Uh, of course, uh, um, the electoral process, the exercise of uh, the franchise by negotiations is a right. And the obligation to ensure that uh, they have the peaceful and secure space to exercise that franchise rests primarily with the Nigeria police. So towards this, we are working with other agencies. We have uh, picked some lessons from the uh, previous uh, presidential exercise in relation to identifying uh, gaps that could be filled. And uh, between the last exercise and the one uh, scheduled for tomorrow, we have uh, strengthened our election security architecture. We have strengthened our operational plan. We have strengthened the synergy between the Nigeria police, the military, the intelligence community and other security agencies. And we have also uh, reached out to strategic uh, stakeholders in order to engage uh, the citizens more, particularly in the area of uh, also cooperating with the Nigeria police in order to assist them in, uh, in, in, in uh, delivering a, a very peaceful uh, electoral process. So with what we have done so far, with the knowledge, the experience we took away from the previous exercise, and with our understanding of the current security dynamics within this space, with the, the wider space in Lagos, I think I, I, have, I can confidently assure all Lagosians that the, their police will support them to deliver a very peaceful electoral process come tomorrow. All right, so uh, there have been many reports, especially since the presidential elections took place of uh, voter suppression, of targeted incidents of violence. I'm wondering if anything has come of any of those investigations into those particular incidents. Um, I'll even direct you to a specific incident that we spoke of in our intro in Surulere yesterday, where the Labour Party candidate was uh, attacked uh, for whatever reason. Uh, is the police going to be able to go ahead and apprehend these suspects and at least show the public some form of justice being served? Because justice delayed is justice denied. And we don't see any proactive form of these uh, actors being apprehended or even being told to calm down. Is this a situation that the police will step in and actually have people to point out and, and show for uh, show as scapegoats or lack of better word, uh, will there be an enforcement of the justice that we can see tangibly? Yes, um, thank you very much. Um, of course, I wouldn't uh, isolate uh, the, the political tension and the violence that uh, you, you reference. It's cross party. And uh, going specifically to the Surulere incident that you mentioned, there was a political gathering. And some local urchins did uh, attempt to, did attack the, the, the gathering. 
and the information was of course passed to the local police uh, detachment there and they responded promptly stabilized the security order and gave a hot chase to the uh, attackers in the course of which one they, they abandoned one of the tricycles that they brought that has been recovered uh, by the police and uh, of course the police guided uh, the injured to for me, and give and took them out for medical uh, attention so currently investigation is ongoing of course we have a very good lead in the tricycle that uh, we recovered so we'll use that effectively to attempt to identify the brains behind the attack and i can assure in my honor that once the process is concluded the elements behind this attack will certainly certainly be identified and charged to court and uh, the the general feelings that uh, most of these cases were not charged is also misleading we did come out clearly that uh, it, under the, during the presidential elections we made some arrests we arrested quite over 20 suspects for different uh, offenses the electoral act provides that the process of a prosecution will have to be handled through INEC. And as at uh, Monday this week, we, we have already processed uh, five of such uh, case files to INEC with uh, about uh, five suspects linked to those cases for prosecution by INEC. Those that are not directly linked to electoral uh, uh, offenses Maybe we arrested them in the course of enforcing uh, the movement restrictions and we recover firearms or other incriminating items. The police have also charged them to court. So we have all these, uh, all these facts. And this, of course, is in clear compliance with the directive of the Inspector General of Police. So for us, we have demarcated between the law abiding and those we, of, we call uh, political, I mean, uh, electoral advisories. If you stay within the line of the law, we'll protect you. If you if you veer off the context of the Electoral Act, regardless of which political party, your background, you can be sure that you will be apprehended, investigated, and prosecuted. And we'll make the process open, as we have done in the past. So we have a number of them already charged. I think Lagos State is one of the early at the, one of the lead states to initiate uh, prosecution against those arrested during the election and will sustain that. Nobody should be left in doubt about that. Uh, very good, Commissioner. But what about acts of incitement? Uh, those who make incendiary comments, uh, trying to uh, uh, whip up uh, unnecessary sentiments against uh, other voters uh, in terms of suppression, as it were. Uh, MC Oluomo has also been uh, making some comments uh, recently uh, against uh, those who allegedly uh, uh, won't vote for APC or as it were. So in that kind of uh, scenario, you know, what uh, is the responsibility of the police? Uh, how far have you gone uh, in uh, uh, giving us assurances that uh, such individuals uh, will be held uh, culpable or rather be held uh, accountable for their actions? Well, first and foremost, um, we condemn in the strongest uh, possible terms any acts, statements, actions that could be interpreted as hate speech or that could be interpreted as a deepening political tension, regardless of the brain that could be behind that. With regards to the specific uh, video you, you, you mentioned, it is, a, it is currently a subject of a detailed investigation. And we are, of course, deploying our cyber security assets to support that, uh, that uh, process. And I can assure you that nobody, nobody is above the law. This country is regulated by law. So anybody, anybody that tries to use his position, his influence, in order to deepen uh, hate or uh, 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 and gender uh, uh, political tension, which could, of course, snowball into, into violence, 
it remains the responsibility and the mandate of the Nigeria police to investigate such cases. This specific one you mentioned will not be an isolation. It is already a subject of review, and it will be in the interest of the actors behind it and all others that might wish to also engage in uh, such uh, ill-informed, ill-directed uh, actions to be very careful, to be firmly warned, because in the fullness of time, the full law will take its course. And it will not be different in this instance if established. Thank you for that. For clarification's sake, can you let us know what is being done about MC Oluomo's case? Is he being currently investigated? What is going on? I can confirm that uh, all the, the video clips are being reviewed and the statements, uh, the statements uh, and the, the assertions, the threats contained therein are subject of uh, ongoing investigations. And as we proceed, if facts are established against the provisions of the law, nobody, nobody is above the law in this country. Our existence is regulated by law, and we are bound together by law. The political process is regulated by law, and nobody can be above that. So if these allegations are established, you can be sure that appropriate legal and criminal proceedings will be initiated against the specific actors involved. All right, Mr. Owunwa, uh, can you give us a background regarding uh, police protocols uh, on the arrest of those who have been found to breach electoral laws uh, in this regard? Is in, in relation to the videos or in, in relation to the previous elections? In relation to the videos, the previous elections, and just a general overview uh, regarding scenarios like that. Yes, to, to, to Ross, it's, uh, if we, we view his uh, statements against the dictates of, uh, of uh, extant laws and we find his actions as uh, being offensive to any component of the, of the criminal law, definitely, definitely the actor behind it will be prosecuted. In relation to the electoral offenses that we have recorded, I did mention that uh, Lagos State, we, we recorded a, a, a total of about 23 uh, different uh, major uh, electoral offenses during the presidential elections. And of these instances, of these cases, we have processed five to INEC in line with uh, the, the electoral acts, knowing that the, the, the prosecution component of that process resides legally with the legal department of uh, INEC. For those that we arrested not within the range of the, of the uh, uh, polling units or the uh, electoral uh, space, there were those we arrested in the cause of uh, within, the, within the town and when we searched them we recover firearms, we recover certain other incriminating items. Those ones we have already charged as at Monday this week. So we are working currently with INEC, the legal department of INEC, to conclude the prosecution uh, process of those that INEC are, are duty and legally, legally bound to prosecute. And like I said, Lagos State is one of the uh, leading states to conclude investigation into all these uh, electoral offenses linked to the presidential elections and process them to INEC for purpose of uh, Persecution. In terms of uh, while you're at the polls, uh, what can citizens do if they are in a situation where they feel like their uh, vote or themselves are being threatened? Are there any numbers that they can call in order to immediately alert the attention of the police? Because obviously, police will not be stationed everywhere. They're not uh, enough uh, uh, for all of that. What, what is the process for individuals when they see a threat, other than running from their, for their lives, 
in order to gather documentation so that an investigation can be followed up with? What should they be looking out for when uh, they feel like they're under threat or their vote is under threat? That's a very critical, uh, very, very critical question. Um, our operational plan is laid out in such a, at, at, uh, we have uh, multiple layers. We naturally have uh, officers that will be attached to each of the pooling uh, units. The officers normally will have uh, their communication systems. So if there is a breach at any of such stations, the first line is for them to naturally uh, call up for reinforcement. And in Lagos State, for purpose of this election, within a space of five to 10 minutes, police reinforcement will naturally respond to, to such, uh, such uh, uh, incidences. And uh, this has been uh, our standard right from the presidential uh, election. We are trying to build on that. But I think the key thing here is to appeal to the citizens themselves to change this mindset of using brigandage to advance whatever may be their political interests. That will lessen the, the, the pressure on the police to even uh, draw on, uh, on a certain uh, a uh, higher level of uh, force in order to restore, restore order. As often said, prevention is better than cure. So how do we prevent? The best way for, it to, for us to attain this is to imbibe this culture of compliance to the law and processes. Electoral circle is just part of the democratic process. As often said, it shouldn't develop into a do or die uh, affairs. It should be driven by conviction and, and, and passion. So the citizens themselves, the, the strategic political leaders, the different political uh, affiliations must support the police by encouraging their faithful to remain, to conduct their activities within the dictates of the law. This will save us the risks associated with responding to crisis area. It will also save us threats into our democratic uh, uh, process. So but for, the, for the numbers, of course, the PRO will, uh, will uh, avail the numbers. They are, they are, they are all uh, out there. Before the end of the program, I, will, I will could send them if you need them to be flashed. Uh, very good, uh, Commissioner. Um, have to take you back uh, on this right now. Uh, how long will it take for you to conclude investigations? on the MC Oluomo's case. The video has been going around for, for the past uh, couple of days now. So can you give us like a time uh, frame on this? Okay, so we are not uh, looking at just uh, an isolated uh, video. We have had uh, a number of uh, these videos flashing out there in the, in the social media. The process of technically evaluating them and piecing uh, pieces of evidence together in order to advance that uh, process, could be a bit uh, uh, could be a bit complex because we are talking of evidence evidence led investigation here. So we are working with our cyber cyber security uh, cyber crime unit and other technical co component of the of the force in order to develop all these in, into uh, of, to to evidential value uh, process. So it will not, I might not be in a position to say, oh, I'm going to complete the, the process, so maybe I can assure that the process will be fast-tracked and justice will be clearly seen to have been done in the, in the process. And we will be keeping an eye on that, uh, Commissioner. Now, uh, in other uh, scenarios, uh, during the previous presidential uh, polls, it was noticed there were few uh, police personnel at uh, some congested polling units in Lagos. And sometimes the few policemen that you find in such polling uh, units uh, find it uh, very difficult to control rowdy uh, scenarios or conditions. So what are you doing to address this? And are you working in sync uh, with the military on these uh, scenarios? Yes, yeah, sure. In fact, uh, just this afternoon, I called for a meeting with the operations officers of all the 
sister security agencies in order to further firm up our synergy towards addressing uh, those gaps. And uh, against tomorrow, certainly you will see a more coordinated and a more strengthened uh, security architecture that will address those uh, concerns you just raised. Um, we recently had the PRO of the Lagos State Command, Benjamin Hundain, on the uh, morning show for an interview a couple of days back. And there was an incident during the presidential elections where citizens saw violence happening and there were about two or three policemen there. They stayed, to the, they stayed back and the citizens were, of course, aghast. And I think our host was asking uh, the PRO what uh, an individual should do in, in that situation and why the police would not. Um, apprehend or jump into a situation that was violent, even though there were two or three of them. So in this case, how many, um, it, with the police officers that have been trained, how many are allowed to uh, engage before something is, is really big? Because I know that they were waiting for backup. Are two or three police officers going to be the amount of uh, police officers po stationed at each polling unit? Or will there be more so that there is no need for a call for backup? Well, um, our deployment to the polling units uh, is guided by the provisions of the Electoral Act. And so we have to merge that with uh, what uh, the outcome of our trade secu election security threat analysis has uh, turned out. So what we do, we operate within the Electoral Act in terms of having civil unarmed police deployment to polling units. Then the next layer will be to have a response, a crisis response uh, uh, unit armed, just as closely as legally permissible. So if you have the policemen at the police units uh, overwhelmed by any breach, of course, it is anticipated. So that is why the, the backup can easily uh, come in to, to, to support the, the process and stabilize, stabilize the, the, the security space within that area. And that is what we are going to maintain. That is what we are going to reinforce. So everything the PRO said about the deployment, the operational strategies, the plan, is straight to the point, and it remains so. All right, uh, Idu Oonwa, Commissioner of uh, Police of Lagos State, uh, many thanks uh, for your perspective on the security uh, in Lagos ahead of the elections. Good to have you with us. Mm -hmm.